your account is deleted forever girl cried again hey y'all so, welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title is gonna be <laughs> me explaining what the happened to my youtube channel for what three days so yeah if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so jump right into this i don't want it to be long i may or may not have timestamps. <laughs> i'm gonna try to like keep this in order so it may be timestamps. it may not be but as you guys know i posted a video on january 25th so january 25th everything that i'm looking at on my phone i will have on the screen so january 25th i posted a video the vlog was my new year's eve date night vision board diy nails etc and i literally made the thumbnail i put it obviously on the board on the board <laughs> on the screen somewhere but i have made a thumbnail for this video at 104 p.m on january 25th so i usually post my videos i don't really have a certain day i post i have a certain time i like to post so i do like to post at three o'clock every single time i post if it's not three o'clock then maybe it'll be like four o'clock if the video is like saving pretty late or whatever but posted it at three maybe 3 30 ish and this particular day january 25th i had to go to work pray stop sniffing the door I had to go to work um i go to i gotta be there by 6 30. so prince please son stop i had to be there by 6 30. so i was like all right i'm gonna post this video at 3 3 30. then i'm gonna take me a little nap wake up at 5 30 you know go to work everything good no ma'am <laughs> literally i woke up my alarm alexa went off at like 5 30. I screenshotted this at 5.34. I get on my YouTube channel because normally when I post at 3 o'clock or whatever, within the first hour, I will normally, almost every time, definitely, will have more than two to three, two to three comments. So what made me go to my channel is I'm looking on my notification bar like, girl, where are the comments? Like, where's notification game? Where's this person? Where's this person? Like, I know the ogs that always comment you know first or within like the top five people so i'm like where is so and so they not on here <laughs> so i go to my channel get on my channel and the first thing that i see on my channel child is akira janae but i see blue so it's gonna be on the screen the blue that i see says ripple ENG. So my name was on there, but when I like refreshed the feed, it had went to Ripple. I think it was like Ripple ENG or something. Yeah, Ripple ENG. This was at 534. They were on a live. Some 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 stuff. You'll see it on the screen. I don't even know what the heck this stuff is, but they were on live. At this point, when I screenshotted this, it was 1.6K of you guys on there watching or just whoever watching. I don't know. And it had, I only had one video. So they had set all my videos on private. I thought everything was gone. I thought my videos was gone, my channel gone, everything. But everything was set to private. So at this point, I was still able to get into my YouTube channel there's not many videos about being hacked on youtube so that's why i did want to do this video the few videos that i found i will post on the screen but they literally were talking about their google account was hacked my google account was compromised google said but my youtube channel was hacked first and everyone else that i found it was their google account they were not able to sign into their gmail this whole process I was continuously able to sign into my Gmail account. That's how I was contacting YouTube and Google. So from the videos I watched, I try not to freak out too much. I found out that I had to um, do this um, hijacked thing on YouTube. One thing that I found out to do from some of the videos is tweet Twitter support. Um, I'll put the correct name right here or whatever, but you're supposed to tweet them and then they'll send you the link the link is literally already on like google website or like youtube website or whatever but if you need you know the link quick i literally tweeted them let me see let me go to my twitter real quick 
I tweeted them and within like two minutes, they literally tweeted me back. I said, my YouTube account with 25,000 subscribers has been hacked. I need help to recover it. Please help. I added YouTube, Google, Team YouTube, Team YouTube, at YouTube, YouTube creators. So Team YouTube is the person who will get back to you. They got back to me at 10.15. They said, sorry to hear about this. We've sent you a DM. Look out for that. So the DM, they literally just sent me the form that I had already filled out. I didn't know that's what they were going to send me. So literally, you can just type in... I typed in what to do when your YouTube account get hacked, and then I found the form that way. But I will post the YouTube DM conversation or whatever. So yeah, I had already filled that out. But the thing is, a tip I want to give you guys right now, anybody who has a YouTube channel, even if you have one subscriber right now, make sure you screenshot, write down this information, save this information somewhere. What took me so long to fill out the form was because I didn't have anything. Like, I feel so bad for the people who, like, I was still able to access my Gmail and, like, my Google AdSense. Some people who Gmail get compromised, they can't really access this as fast. So, all the things that I had to type in on that form, you can literally go to the form right now, like, to see what it is. But you have to have your payments ID account. Did not have that written down anywhere. You have to have your payment ID profile, like a whole bunch of numbers. You got to have your um, IP address location. Like it was just a whole lot of stuff. And what else? I had to have my publisher ID. It took me so long to find this publisher ID. So you have to have that. So just find all this detailed stuff, like in your account information and your settings, all of that. Screenshot it, screenshot every number, every, every ID keep on file because you never know <laughs> that was my problem i didn't have anything on file and i was like thank god i was still able to log into everything because if not i would have been asked out for real so that's that um i was still able to see a few videos on my page um you guys started to realize it after maybe like 30 minutes to an hour i got some comments on my last video and it was like why is there only one video on this account i think you're hacked akira somebody was like dm her i got an instagram y'all start calling y'all start dming me like i appreciate everything you guys done for me and i tried to respond back to almost i tried to respond back to as many y'all as i could it's a lot of y'all so that's why i just did an instagram story but thank you guys so much so after you guys were steady telling me and stuff like that i think i might have posted a boomerang or like a story update either later that night or the next day um so yeah everything was just saying ripple in eng i was still able to log into my gmail this whole process so that was not as compromised as my youtube channel on my youtube channel though they posted they were doing that live and they also i think tried to like post a video or something i'm not quite sure so after they posted that prince move what was it okay so the live video i got a community guideline strike and it was from the live and the policy is because it was harmful or dangerous content so i don't know if that was you guys reporting it or obviously you know youtube just picked up on it obviously they're really quick to do that so i made sure to screenshot that and after that happened i think i screenshot it why does he do this every time i try to record my god okay i screenshot it that january 25th at 7 30 p.m so my account on january 26th at 3 27 p.m says hi ripple ng since they changed my name we have reviewed your content and found several repeated violations of our community guidelines please because of this we have removed your channel from youtube that right there in itself because of this we removed your channel from youtube girl i thought everything was over i, I just i just knew everything was over at that point so furthermore you can read it it's just saying we know this probably is upsetting news but it's our job to make you youtube a safe place for all da, 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 da. if you think this is not right you know you can appeal da, 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 da. so obviously i appealed and like wrote a freaking paragraph so 
in my paragraph to appeal it i said hello my account has been suspended due to actions that was not done by me someone has hacked my youtube channel which is named akira janae and changed my name to ripple eng and also did a live stream i have screenshots of this and i need help with getting my page back of 25,000 subscribers this breaks my heart completely because i love youtube and creating content for my subscribers can you please in all caps help me get my channel back up and running i forgot to mention once i woke up at 5 30 on january 25th and seen ripple eng and my heart started beating a thousand a thousand beats per second <laughs> I got hot i got like woozy girl this is serious this is real serious and i started crying literally boyfriend called me all cheerful and stuff like you know what's up babe what you doing i'm like oh, i'm just you know whatever get ready for work and you know yo man or girl whatever they can tell him something wrong with you so he was like what's wrong couldn't even hold it in just started crying my youtube channel girl oh my god <laughs> So yeah, I sent that. It was just, it was submitted. Every time you submit something to them, it's going to say thanks for contacting our Google Accounts team. We'll review your report and we will contact you only if we have additional information to share. That right there shattered my heart also. And I think I also got an email back from Google after I sent that because I sent this to Google and my Google account wasn't really the one that was like hacked. It was compromised, yes, but it wasn't hacked. So anyways they basically emailed me back and was like there's nothing we can do your your account is deleted forever girl cried again so getting into how all of this happened i'll just be putting different things on the screen or whatever but the whole process took me three days to get my account back january 28th my account was recovered they sent me the Oop. they sent me the email january 28th at 9 30 p.m it says hi akira thank you for your continued patience during this process we just wanted to let you know that our team has finished recovering your channel in addition to looking into your account our specialties may perform the following actions we have deleted the hijacker added videos the suspension on the channel has been resolved and the channel is now back active and that's when i went back and turned all my videos from pri private back to public and you know so forth so how this happened i will show the emails that were definitely pretty much sketchy that i can see that now i think i was just so blindsided by the fact that i am moving so that's being announced to you guys first here i am moving and so it's like i needed i'm basically breaking my lease so it's like i basically just need a lot of money right now you know so it's like they were offering me i think anywhere from like 500 to like a thousand 1500 5000 depending on your subscriber count they said so some of these other videos i watched the same thing happened to them but it was kind of like in a gaming form so i guess they channeled to me as a new editing software so looked up the software i thought it was completely legit because the softwares and stuff are legit it's just fake scammers acting like they are the people from the company like i said i was just blindsided by the fact and i literally had prayed to god i wrote out a prayer in my notes and literally i just prayed to him to like basically get all of that like out of me like out of my mind and stuff like don't I don't want to be blindsided by the fact of just trying to hurry up and get a quick buck trying to hurry up and get quick dollars if that makes sense to you guys um i don't know i kind of wrote it down and then kind of just talked to god about it and i just feel like i'm definitely more aware i'm not going to try to get a quick buck and really read into the lines of things um looking back now it's like doug kira how the heck did you not tell that was you know a scam but you know we all live and we learn stuff like this happens so we can tell you guys what to look out for what not to do this and that so they're still emailing me not necessarily the same email thread but it's like different like different companies and stuff like that and how i know it's fake i screenshot this right now and post this the email every single email it was three different companies so every single email ends with dot the letter c and the letter z it's either cz or it's another one if i can find it i'll post it on the screen so basically how this happened i needed to download windows should have never done this but i have a macbook and for me to get this software which is really an actual software for me to actually get the software i would need to download windows so 
I downloaded Windows. Um, they sent me a few documents. Basically, they sent me over like a demo of what somebody did, which they probably stole from someone's video and cropped it out and stuff because I couldn't even see her name in it. But usually they'll send like a YouTube link, which I sh like there's so many red flags in me thinking back right now. Like I know, don't get on my A, but usually companies will send me a link of actual YouTube videos from a YouTuber doing something for their company so I can just go to their YouTube channel and like see everything whatever but literally it was just a clip so should have known it was stolen then but literally I downloaded Windows um I had to do like a voiceover like a 30 to 45 second voiceover did that they didn't really respond back to me and this was the day of the 25th so when they didn't respond back to me I'm like y'all been blowing me up and now y'all not responding back to me so I'm like <laughs> another red flag I should have freaking knew but I didn't so it got downloaded I downloaded I kept trying to download the files and the files would not download it was saying um like error or it was just saying like a whole bunch of different things and right there again another red flag of like 50 i should have freaking known then but whatever you know we live and we learn so i'm here so it didn't work and then i was like okay i give up and this is after i had posted my youtube video at like 3 or 3 30 on january 25th sorry if i'm out of line or whatever out of the timeline but after I downloaded it, I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to give it a rest and try to come back and figure out how to download this stuff again. So when I woke up at 5.30, I was going to try to hop on and see if anything like downloaded or anything while I, was sleep while I was sleeping. And then that's when I got on there seeing the Ripple ENG and stuff like that. So this had happened because I downloaded Windows on my Mac. Not necessarily me just downloading Windows messed me up. It's because... I tried to download their files through different things in Windows itself. So it's like Windows is what they need to really take over your stuff. Like they can get into, they basically got into my computer. So with that being said, me trying to click the links and download it, that's giving them access. But they needed Windows to do this. It would not happen on Mac with these scammers or whatever. So that's how it happened. A few people were commenting and saying different things or whatever and they were all wrong <laughs> one girl was like she wrote like a long paragraph and saying basically it was because my password was too weak it had nothing to do with my password my password has i think my password has nine or ten letters in it with numbers and symbols so i'm like I know it's not my password like that it it just didn't make sense and I understand you guys didn't know the whole situation and you were just trying to help me and you know give some insight and stuff and I do appreciate that but it was just I didn't want the wrong things thrown out there so it was not because my password was weak literally when I made the password it said very strong like I have a lot of things into my password and I always been like that I always was one to put symbols and numbers in passwords so and capitalize you know just all kind of crazy stuff so that wasn't it one girl this was the craziest of all one girl said it was because i don't post consistently <laughs> like the most i went without posting is maybe like a month um youtubers do need breaks you know it's common everyone need a break from a job it's just like you're nine to five you're when you take pto or you just call in for a sick day like you just need that day so it's like i took a pto for like a week maybe two weeks whatever the case may be it's nothing different it's just it's YouTube, you know? So she was just like, it's because I wasn't posting constantly. And yeah, I had to send that around in the group chat because I'm like, what? If you're watching this, I'm sorry. But that was just so funny because I, I, I understand what, I feel like I understand where that can, I don't know, maybe seem like it because obviously if you're not using your YouTube channel, I guess people think that like, I, I don't know I guess if pe if I'm not constantly posting I guess people think like I'm just not even looking at YouTube at all if I'm not posting I'm still recording every single week almost every you know other day or whatever the case may be like I'm constantly checking my comments checking my views like I'm constantly log into my YouTube channel analytics everything but I'm just not posting but I'm still behind the scenes working and checking in on things so it's just like that's not the case and somebody a few other people send some more stuff but literally how i got hacked was i literally responded back to fake emails scammers and i downloaded windows on my macbook don't recommend <laughs> 
and I clicked on their links trying to open them, which were basically fake and they kind of took over that way. I feel like that's kind of why my Google account wasn't compromised. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know, but that's the story. I hope you guys <laughs> learned something from this. Um, I hope I explained enough, showed enough. Just be very cautious of what you reply back to. Um, I know some emails, like right now, it's just some emails still kind of feel sketchy to me, but they're real. Um, normally, I've just been doing hair reviews, so I'm going to stick to what I know, baby. I just recently started doing clothing hauls. Um, I did clothing hauls, but like now I'm about to get more into it. I've been sponsored by Shein. She, Shein. Um, twice now. They actually email me again for some more stuff but i definitely got to do their videos this week zalfo like i'm being sponsored by clothing brands now so it's like i know how hair review people talk like ch from china they always call me dear honey like stuff like that like i know the way they email so just be careful i hope this helped uh, my account was recovered in three days trust youtube trust the process i feel like this literally is a shorter process because of what's that girl name after this i'm done talking because i think i've been talking for 21 minutes um her name was megan r-i-e-n-k-s I, I don't want to butcher her last name but her youtube channel was stolen i think in like 2020 and literally it took her like months to get her like channel back and it's just insane so youtube had told her that they were going to like call her into like the office and stuff and trying to figure out better ways to do this situation so if she actually did get in, you know, get into the office and stuff and help out with that, I feel like Megan is the one who kind of shed light on all of this. So thank you, Megan. Thank you, everybody else who created videos because y'all did help me. Y'all gave me a peace of mind, all the videos that I like put in here. If I can remember to link them, I will link them, but I will put a screenshot of the videos that I watched on the screen and you can just go to their page. But thank them. I think they were all guys. Yeah, they were all guys. It was like three videos because every other video was in like Arabic or something so thank them so much it did give me a peace of mind it slightly calmed me down like I was at a hundred and then it kind of brought me down to about an 80 just the 80 you know and yeah took me three days to get my channel back thank you guys so much for the love and support as I already told you guys I am moving again I will talk more about that in my vlog that'll be coming after this video and after a hair video so yeah stay tuned for a lot of moving vlogs i already have everything planned it's lit thank you so much again for supporting me and always being there for me love does not go unnoticed at all so until my next video i will see you lovelies then bye guys